Good. Education in this world is very good, but the main point always emphasizes that you have to learn well, so get a good job, and then you have a good wife, a good husband, or good money, and buy a house, and buy a good car, and blah, 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 blah. Rarely anybody say you must learn well so that you can serve the world in more capacity. And people forget to educate children in proper manner, you know, to respect elderly, take care of the parents. Now their parents just a little bit old and then throw them in the old home. Visit once a month or maybe once every Christmas, and blah, 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 talking about goodness and all that. You know, this is not right. This is not right. Yeah. Our world is not all correct. Yeah? So if you go to Philippines, you must remember. I saw Philippine children, whenever they come home from somewhere, they go and touch the feet of the elderly. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm home, I pay homage to you. You know, their parents or things like that. And if they go, they very respectfully say goodbye. And the Philippines, everybody thinks they send their people outside to, to work for labor and all that. Well, what can they do in their country? They don't have enough jobs. But to go out to work as a laborer or as housekeeper, using your hand to earn an honest living is not a shame. But they're not going out to steal, they're not going out to kill, they're not going out to cheat people. They go out to work to bring money home. Anywhere work is the same. What's the difference if you work in Philippines, this kind of country? So you go home, think about this. Treat the elderly or whoever needs you, treat your parents respectfully. That doesn't mean you are uncivilized, that means you are very, 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 very extra civilized. If a human being doesn't know the basic courtesy to the persons, the first person they ever knew on this planet, the first friends they ever saw on this planet is their parents. The first persons ever nourish them, ever sacrifice for them, wake up all night to feed them, go to work all day to bring food on the table, then this human being is not worth it to call human. And no wonder if they don't treat the parents well, they should go somewhere else, <laughs> you know, as the Buddha, Bodhisattva says, you should go to hell. If you're not filial in some lesser degree, then you probably don't go to this uh, forever hell, just some other kind of hell. You have to learn. You have to go there to learn the suffering, to learn how your parents suffer by your uh, rebellious uh, action or words or impolite reply. There are still these uh, minimum standards of goodness, to the parents at least. Yeah. Parents are the only first two friends <laughs> you, s you see in this world when you come out, and the f two best friends that accompany you through your life. Yeah? So they are the best. <laughs> You're lucky to still have parents. Go home and think about that and think of how your mother, father, have to wake up all day, all night for you, and work all day, and go through a lot of sacrifice just to bring you up, yeah, so that you're educated in the universities for the just some worldly, repeated knowledge. Rarely anyone teach you about God, but I'm not sure if the one who teach you about God knows anything about God. That is another problem. And then